Welcome everybody to a quick video in a new series called This Is Now A Thing You Can Do, probably something like that, on making interpolation videos with Stable Diffusion, like the one playing right now. So Stable Diffusion is, put super simply, a text-to-image generation AI, which runs on only a few gigs of memory, and which all by itself is absolutely insane, given the vast number and types of imagery that it can create, effectively having compressed like countless terabytes of imagery down to just a few gigs. Uh, that's, that's incredible, but maybe more on that later. For now, we can make images of just about whatever we want, but from this model's inherent capabilities and understanding of language and text and mapping that to pictures, one of the more interesting things that we can do is interpolate between two or more images. To do this, I'll be using a package from Nate Raw on GitHub, which makes this whole process uh, a breeze to, to do. This package is also in active development, and I am sure many things will be changing and improving over time. So uh, if there, especially with something in like my workflow, my guess is things will change and will be added to that package and you won't have to do it exactly as arduously as I have. So first of all, we need two or more images to start with to shift between. My personal workflow has been to come up with a prompt and then generate 50 to 100 or a few hundred images with randomly selected seeds and then manually review the images and pick the ones that I think would be cool to use. I'll put a gist or something like that in the description so you can copy me, but at some point, I think in the near future, I really expect this package uh, from Nate Raw to contain a lot of this workflow for you so you don't have to be doing this like separately. So for images that you go with, you can do whatever you want. For me, I think things that work most obviously <laughs> are anything that like grows or changes over time and then stitch those things together. So things like cities or maybe like a story or an evolution of something over time, that sort of thing, I think makes a whole lot of sense. One of the things I really wanted to do was like a music video. And it's funny because I was talking with Nate Raw and that was one of the things he even suggested, <laughs> but it's like, um, I like my YouTube channel, so I can't do that. <laughs> but, but I think that would be a really cool application. I just don't think, I just can't do it. So anyways, uh, instead I decided to just go with an example of a Porsche 911 model uh, over the years. So from 1965 to current. But I encourage you to try all kinds of crazy things because there's there's so many like unique and fascinating things that you can do because you don't, it doesn't have to be a thing that grows over time or it doesn't even have to be two things that are even related. You could interpolate between a car and a dog if you wanted and that might be pretty cool to see. So I encourage you guys to really kind of tinker around and try to be creative with it. Um, like I said, all this stuff runs on very, like you don't need that beefy of a GPU. Like 10 gigs-ish is all you need. So um, definitely, and, and, and you can even get by with, with less than that. So anyway, first I have a script that runs through a list of prompts. Then for each prompt, it iterates through, and in this case, 200 examples, each with a randomly selected seed. From there, each image is generated with stable diffusion and it's saved in a directory with the name of the prompt. And then the name of the actual image in that directory is the seed that was used to generate that image. Then I just look through the images and either select the ones that I want or I come up with another prompt or try some more seeds until I have a good sequence of images that I want to make a video out of. From here, we can use this Stable Diffusion videos package to go through and interpolate between all of these making pretty cool videos. One of the more recent modifications to this package was the addition of an upscaler, which you can use by just adding upscale equals true in your walk command and then also installing the real ESR GAN package. This is just a general upscaler, so it may not work precisely for the task or the, the type of imagery that you're attempting to use it for, but it's there if you want it, and it will get you from 512 by 512 imagery to 2048 by 2048. So go forth and create. Also, right now, I have a CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen, signed 3090 Ti to be given away. All you need to do to be eligible is to sign up for free for GTC, the all-digital NVIDIA GPU and AI-oriented conference. And all you need to do is sign up using the link in the description, and you just have to attend one or more sessions. The 3090 Ti is an absolute beast of a card, so congratulations in advance for whoever gets it. I am jealous of you. And the sign box is a just cool piece of history, honestly. Anyway, that's all for now. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the shorter-ish format of videos. There are so many like little projects that are kind of coming out and things that you can do with AI like Stable Diffusion. It's not just Stable Diffusion stuff. There's other stuff as well. 
Um, I don't really think it would be great to just like throw them all in like one giant video and then each one is not really big enough for like a full feature length, um, a full 40 minute syntax video. So let me know what you think about the shorter format. Uh, also, if you make your own stable diffusion interpolation videos, please put them down in the comments. I'd be really interested to see what other people are coming up with uh, with this sort of like technology. So there's so much room for creativity here. And I just, I'm super curious to see what other people come up with. So anyway, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in another video.